Even lekker de benen gestrekt. Dat is wel lekker met die lange afstanden. En we're off on the next race. The 20k elimination boys. They have to do 62 laps. And there are a lot of good skaters in this group of course. As always the good Colombians. But we also have two great skaters from the Netherlands. Teun de Wit and Jordi van Worken. And in the time the Sana did the interview with Marijn, I asked a few people how is Teun de Wit? And they ensured me he is recovered from his crash already. He crashed two days ago on the track, but he's fine. So he will be good in this race, they promised me. We saw also uh, Bent van Kerkhoff uh, passing by. And she seems okay. So I think uh, we will see her back tomorrow in the long distance. Yeah, Bent van Kerkhoff crashed in the race just before. The elimination race for the junior girls. Again, won by Colombia. And Lisanne is this will this be another victory for Colombia or will it be maybe Jason Suttles again who won the points elimination on the track? Well of course the Colombians have, are having a good team but um, they didn't win so far on the long distances. We saw great performances by the Korean guys and a victory by Jason Suttles. So the guys from Colombia are not my favorites for this race. This is the one race I think the Colombians are not uh, dominating uh, or winning all the medals. Yeah, probably. We uh, also have two uh, really good Dutch skaters in this race. But in the first race, uh, long distance race points elimination, we saw Jordi van Workum with a crash. And in the elimination fi A final, we saw Teun de Wit with a, uh, Teun de Wit with a crash. So. Yeah, I think they are uh, ready for a good revenge. So the pace is not that high at the moment. We see a guy from Denmark who's in the lead. And Jordi van Warkum is in fourth position. What uh, kind of socks is the guy from Denmark wearing on? I'm not sure, but I think these are uh, some kind of recovery socks or maybe some precious socks. In cycling it's not allowed. No. Here it is. In inland skating and I think also in running it's allowed. I think the use of it, it's well, some people say it's really good and it's better, some people say it's not. I think it's very hot to skate with this socks, with these temperatures. Yeah, especially now with the sun. It's still around 25 degrees here in the Netherlands, Arnhem. So we see for the first time the French guys. These are Ewan Fusadier and Mathieu Belloir. Both guys qualified for the Youth Olympics. So they must be strong skaters and we saw Fusadier already on the track with really good results. So they are a team to watch here. So it will go between the guys from South Korea, the Netherlands, France and always Italy of course. And I think Jason Suttles. He disappointed a little bit on the elimination race. He skated the C final. So he must be he must be fresh after his world title on the first day. Yeah, on the internet we saw a lot of discussions about the elimination race from the junior boys. So we'll see if everything is going good now. So in the meanwhile we heard the first bell, so the next time around that will be the first elimination. The last skater in the pack will be eliminated. So you have to go to the front if you're in last position now. When you're on the inside you have already a problem, because that's not the spot to be. You have to be in the outside so you still can pass a few skaters. So that's what we see I think, a skater, a skater from the inside will be eliminated. Probably the guy from, no, it's the guy from Germany, Luca Berti, who eliminated first. Luca Berti, sounds like Melikal Berti. Yeah, or... Our, our listeners will not know her. <laughs> it's a good singer. 
look up at it. Yeah, but also it maybe sounds a bit Italian. Look up at it. Depends on how you pronounce it. So there will be another elimination when they cross the finish line. We see the Korean guys, South Korean guys in second and third position. The position behind Colombia. We see the guy from China in the back now. Turn the weight on the outside. Jordi van Workum in the second peloton. And we have an elimination from Argentina. Hans Lopez Sainz. It's a typical Argentine uh, name, Hans. I think ah, maybe. It's not Argentina, it's Guatemala. Oh, the, the flags fl are. Yeah, the flag game isn't strong from the on the screen. Actually, our flag game is pretty strong, Jan. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, 49 laps to go. 49 laps to go, and it's all the time the South Korean or the Colombians in the lead, and close and nearby are the Italian and the French. Yeah, and we see Peter Michael walking next to the track now. He did a pretty good heat this morning in the points elimination. No, not points elimination, just points. We'll see him later tonight. And in the meanwhile, we have an elimination from 95 from Venezuela. It's Gustavo Rodriguez Rodriguez. So we see now the guy from Argentina in the lead, followed by Jordi van Warkem. And when you see Jordi van Warkem totally up front, you want to see his teammate with him. The turn to it is around the 10th place. It's better to be together. You're always stronger that way and more protected. When you see the Colombians or the Italians or the France, France, they always skating together. No, I see now just one Italian behind Jordi and I don't see the other Italian Most of the yet. time, Lisanna, <laughs> most of the time. Maybe in this circuit it's a bit harder. Because it's moving all the time. If we see the guys from France together, we see the guys from Colombia together. The guy from India, Chaitanya Sunkura, eliminated. So we still have 28 skaters in this race and 46 laps to go. So the first Colombian lost his teammate. He's taking the lead, but his teammate is around the fifth position behind Jason Settles. I think he will move up uh, shortly from now. Yeah, yeah, he's on the outside now and he's looking for his teammate. They want to be together, just in front of the French skaters. So, there's the next elimination. And I saw a guy from Chinese Taipei in the back. And it's the guy from Guatemala, Jose de Leon Castillo. Who has eliminated? And also, here we got the 12 guys who, who qualified for the Youth Olympics. Jan, can you tell us who they are? Yeah, it's Johnny Angulo from Colombia. He's not in the race, but Ewan Fusaje, he is in the race. He is also qualified for Youth Olympic Games. Then we have Marijn Schepenkamp from the Netherlands who qualified, Vincenzo Mallorca from Italy, Filippo Scotto from Italy, um, Nahul Schelling Quivera from Argentina, he is qualified for the Youth Olympics. We have Jung Jun Chin from Korea, Ivan Galar from Spain, Tinsen, the sprinter from the Uni United States, Tao Chen from China, and Jano Botman from the Netherlands. So two Dutch skaters who qualify. Yeah, but will Yano go to the Olympics? I don't think so, as he also... Oh, we have a crash on the answer. Korea! Korea has crashed. Oh. Ooh, both skaters are from South Korea or just one? No, just one. Oh, that will be a medal winner on the track, on the ground now. Because they both won a medal. 
and they have had won the yeah, elimination it's race. Song Min on on the ground. Oh, and he's still on the track. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's still on the track. He's laying on the ground, and the skaters has to go around. Oh, that doesn't look good. Yeah. Song Min on. Confirmed now. I hope he's doing okay. Now oh, here we see the crash. So Yang Kai Wang from China is eliminated. In the meantime. Oh, and the skater is still on the ground. I think they will try to get him on the inside of the of the track. But they have to be careful if he broke something or he's hurt badly. They have to be careful. So we hear the bell again with the two Colombians in the lead and behind them the two skaters from France. And we see a lot of people walking by with strobe waffles, Jan. I think everybody should come to RM. Stroke waffles is a really good cookie from the Netherlands. And we also have a lot of events around. It's possible to play your own game of roller hockey. Or go on those little bikes and do an extremely difficult circuit. Isana will try this tomorrow, so if you want to watch, come here. You will make a video, right? <laughs> oh, then they don't have to come. Oh, yeah, true. Now it's also the World Championships freestyle skating. This event is also close to this road circuit. So it's really fun, really nice to watch. So if you want to see it, come to Arnhem the next few days. Yeah, we also saw the Colombian guys are checking out the 100 meter circuit. It looks pretty awesome over there. Yeah, the next Saturday there will be only races over 100 meters. It's a special track they made for it. And the Colombians already tested out and they were looking good. Oh, turn. This will be a close call. Who if, will be out? If Is it, it was turn, he was kind of falling asleep in this race because it seems so easy in the peloton so we see the two Belgium skaters now up front and who is eliminated oh. no it's not turned of it it's Ivani Tamas from Hungary yeah we see the Belgium team leading now they will skate for Jason Suttles the world champion on the points elimination on the track it's a similar distance to this only with points and Jason Suttles is a fast and strong skater and the French guys want to go behind this team the French guys are always up front but never leading They're always in third or fourth position it's easier yeah but it's also a lot of fighting all the time so now it's the Colombian skaters again in the front. And I yeah. think the French guys will try to go behind him. And the guy from Argentina, now well, Schelling Quevado, eliminated. And the guy from Czech Republic, or is it you? Is it Czech Republic in the back of the peloton with a little gap? Yeah, while the skater from Ecuador is leading. What is he doing? He's starting to sprint now? It would be way easier for him to just try to stay in the peloton instead of sprinting now full. I think he thought he was eliminated, but he will try to come back. Turn and pass is at in least the back, but he's moving up. It's 34 now from Czech Republic, Sepal Zdenek. So only 32 laps to go, we're halfway of this race, so they did already 10 kilometers. And we still see the two Dutch guys in there, but along with them a lot of strong skaters. 
They are looking really good, Jan. Yeah, and they're together, I think, for the first time in this race. Oh, and we see the Belgium guy, from, uh, Brecht Lippens, fighting with the guy from Italy. Yeah, and Jordi van Warken is totally up front now. He is leading, and he is in front of the Colombian skaters, and we see Tain de Witt on the outside. With his hands on the back. Behind the guys from France now. I think it's the Belgium skater who crossed the line in the last position. Yeah, yes. it's Brecht Lippens from Belgium. So Jason Suttles is now on his own. Yeah, and it looks really hard to keep the good position the whole race. There are a lot of changes in position. All the time, new skaters come to the front, and then other skaters taking over the lead. Oh, the South Korean guy is on the blank car now. It's not looking really good for him. No. Nope. Because, I mean, when you are okay, you can just walk. But maybe he's a, a bit like a soccer player. We will know by tomorrow, I guess. And Denmark with Niklas Mastrup is out of the race now. And we still have 19 skaters in this race and 28 laps to go. Yeah, and Jason Siddles is near the front and he got eliminated on the uh, elimination race real early on the track. So he's extra motivated to do good in this race and we can see that because he's always in the front yeah it won't happen again so they go to the next elimination now and we see uh, Tony Newitt on the back of the group he has to pass a few skaters Ooh, but this is not too smart from Tom because he it's lost a lot of energy. Uh, Lorenzo Baglioni from Italy. Last year the Italians had some medals in the junior events. But so far these guys are not in the medal positions. Well, I think the guy who qualified for the uh, uh, Youth Olympic Games, Vincenzo Mallorca, took already a bronze medal on the track, but he's not in this race. Well, last year we saw a guy from Colombia, Saul Herreño, winning this race. Second uh, from uh, Belgium, Indra Medar. We will see him in the points race later tonight in the senior. And Gabriele Galli from Italy became third last year. Yeah, and the guy from South Korea is again on his skate, so he looks fine. And the next elimination is number 46, Niels Bühnemann. From Germany. So we come closer and closer to the last 20 laps. We come closer to the final and you see the pace is more fast than every lap. Faster. And there are the Colombians on the front and always the French skaters are behind them. Yeah, you see here more of a... Not a compact group, but it's all spread out. It's a completely different race compared to the ladies, Jan. Yeah, it is. You see... A lot of teams acting here. You see two Dutch guys, two French guys, two Italian guys. And I think this is the way to do an elimination race. And the Colombian guys look really strong. So the next elimination is Danko Vito Said, number 11 from Czech Republic. Or is he from Chile? Fidal. Sounds like a from yeah, Chile. it's from Chile. We have a hard time to see the flags here. Actually, we shouldn't look to the flags anymore because they are not right. <laughs> yeah, but the flag from Chile and 
Czech Republic are quite similar, right? Now we see the guy from Argentina with number two in problems. That's Benjamin Robles. And he's starting to sprint again as well, like the guy from Czech Republic was doing, but he's, he can't make it. No, this gap is too big. So Benjamin Robles from Argentina is out. So in the lead we see Joel Gacho Zamora from Ecuador. He's doing a lot of leading. Now we still have 15 skaters in this race, 20 laps to go. And we still see two guys from the Netherlands. Teun de Wit and Jordi van Workum zitten nog steeds in het peloton en rijden zich nu bij de beste bij de beste 15 skilleraars van de wereld. Ja, en ik vind vooral dat Jordi van Borkum een sterke indruk maakt in deze wedstrijd. Teun de Wit zat al een aantal keer in een penibele situatie. Moest hij een paar jongens inhalen om niet af te vallen. Jordi van Borkum hebben we eigenlijk de hele wedstrijd nog niet gezien. En dat is wel oh, de de valpartij en de Nederlanders staan nog. We hebben een crash met een guy van France, Belloir. Oh, that was a bad crash. And only one skater crashed. And that's kind of a miracle because he crashed in the middle of the pack. But all the skaters could go around him. Mathieu or... Belloir from France. So mm. no elimination now. And the skaters from France made a great impression this race. But one skater is out now. And it will be harder to do it alone. He seems okay. So, with the bell on board on 18, we hear the bell, and Jason Settle is moving to the front. He's leading now in front of the two Colombian skaters. And Jason Settle looks also very strong, very alert in this race. So, they're getting nervous now. It's a little bit more nervous towards the final, and this will be a close call, I guess. Uh, oh, yeah. The guy from Mexico came into the inside with more speed, but it was the guy from Czech Republic, Tomas Bohunski. Yeah, and you saw Jason Suttles, he was leading just 100 meters before the finish line, and he almost got eliminated. So you have to be careful. You have to be alert. And that's what the Dutch guys are doing now. They're taking the lead. They think it's better to be in the lead than in the back of the peloton. So the bell is ringing now for the next eliminations and the Dutch guys are looking strong. I think Teun is working for Jordi. Yeah, it looks like they work together with the Belgium Jason Siddles. They're talking to each other. There's the Colombian guy, so quicken the pace and try to stay in the lead because we don't want... And Jordi oh, has to be careful now. Oh, he's doing a good job to go to the left. And he blocked one skater. It's from Mexico, Santiago Lopez Escareño. We still have 12 skaters in this race, 14 laps to go. So still two Dutch guys, one Belgium guy, two from Argentina, Ecuador one and one from France, one from South Korea and I think also one skater from Czech Republic still, no it's Chile, and one skater from Italy. Yeah, we have a skater from Venezuela in the back, Pablo Garcia Santander. When Teun de Wit has to take care now. We but see him moving on the outside. It seems okay, Italy or Chile. That's the guy from Italy, Elia Fazzolo. It's quite a big surprise the skater from Italy is out now. Normally the skaters from Italy are really strong on the long distances. But there are more track skaters. Now we have 11 skaters in this race. The guy from Venezuela in problems now. Yeah, so there will not be an elimination if the guy from Venezuela is behind. No. 
Now and he stops skating, so he knows he will be eliminated. So yeah. there will not be an elimination in the group now. And you saw Teun de Witt looking, and he sees that it's okay, so he's not sprinting now. Uh, you have always, you have to be always be careful with that kind of situation. Maybe yeah. he was already out in an earlier sprint, and then you think I'm not in last position, but actually you are. Yeah, but there's also a guy from Chile behind him, so you're double fine now. The guy from Venezuela, Pablo Garcia Santander, is eliminated now with 10 skaters laps left and 10 laps to go. Yeah. So, so the two Colombian skaters are in the lead, followed by the French guy, and then we see Jordi van Borkum for the Netherlands. And the guy from Chile is having a hard time. It's number 10, Ignacio Mardones Fidal. But will he try one more time? Tone is looking all the time. No, it will be the guy from Chile who will be the eliminated skater. Tone de Witt knows it and he's not sprinting. The other guys do sprint. The team do it will concentrate on the next elimination. Nine skaters left, eight laps to go. Seems like Tone de Witt has a big control over this race. Yeah, and how strong are these Colombian skaters? They are doing all the leading. Who they have energy left in the last lap? That's uh, the question now. How strong are our Dutch skaters, Jan? Nine laps, eight laps to go, nine skaters left. Jordi van Borkum is, is good in a breakaway. Is it, is, it, is it smart to go with three laps to go guys, or not? The guys have to move. The Steun de Witt is on the outside now. He's building up. He's building up. Ooh, a lot of fighting there on the outside. Yeah. The Steun de Witt will go around, so he will not be eliminated, I think. Ooh, this is a close call. Guy from Chinese Taipei, guy from Belgium. It's the guy from Chinese Taipei, Wu Chen Sun. So only seven skaters left, only two more eliminations. With six laps to go, is Jordi van Warken is in the lead now in front of the two Colombian skaters. Jason Suttles from Belgium, the South Korean guy, one guy from France and one guy from Ecuador. Yeah, Tony should move with the guys from Colombia. And Jordi has to make sure that he's... Oh, oh, we have a crash! We have a crash! What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, oh my God! I've never seen this before, Young. So Jason Settles crashed. The guy from South Korea crashed. But did you he... saw what yeah, the guy he... from South Korea did to the Colombian guy? Yeah, he grabbed he him. He was hanging all the time. Oh, and that must hurt. I think they had a big battle there. Now look, 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 look again. What's happening here? Jason Suttles crashed. Oh, Was he holding his hands or I the think suit? So. I think so. I think it's his hand. But the Colombian skater came back. So there's six skaters left in this race. And two Dutch guys. Can they get on the podium? Can the Dutch guys get a medal? Or maybe can they become world champion? Four laps to go. The guy from Colombia is back in this group. Yeah, there's six skaters left. That means so we only one skater have to be eliminated. Yeah, so we don't have an elimination now. Two guys from South Korea and they both crashed this race. Yeah, I think the guy's sprinting, but what they do not know, I think there is not an elimination in this group because two guys crashed. But you're never sure, so you better sprint for nothing. No, no elimination. So Arto knew it. Arto knew it is a little bit tired. Yeah, Jason Suttles is out, but he wa he crashed already, so he was already out of this race. Two Dutch skaters, young. Can they make it to the podium? Can they make it to gold? Yeah, and Jordi for Warkham. I say it again. He looks really good. He looks fit. So can he do it? Oh, and a guy from Ecuador is fighting with the two Colombians. He wants to go between them, and he's there. So we two see three 
we see three European guys and three guys from South America. Two Colombians, two Dutchies, one guy from France, one guy from Ecuador. And one of these guys is not in the final. No, one and we go to the bell and to the last elimination. When they are crossing the finish line, it's only one left to go. So, two times Colombia, one time Jordi van Wort. Jordi, Jordi van, van Wort has third. to pass the Colombian guy now, because otherwise they will leave a gap again. Jordi van Wort, what is he doing? Can he make it till the gold medal? Yeah, Jordi van Wort is Jordi in van Wort on, on the outside. He's on the outside. Jordi van Wort on the outside. The crowd outside. is going crazy. Jordi van Rockham took down the world title. Uh, we told you, he is in good shape and he looked really strong this race. He passed the two Colombian skaters and became world champion, elimination. What a great effort by both of the Dutch guys. First and fifth. Yeah, we look, uh, he's celebrating now with Frank Fies, the Belgium coach, and Valentina Belloni, Valentina Berga, the Italian uh, for the Dutch team, and Aaron Smith is there, Ronald Mulder, Jordi van Warken.